Warning, the following content contains sounds. Some sapiens of Homo have episodic memories with undesired correlation sensations with particular sounds depending upon their mood and personalities. Although many attach their identities with notions and actions, the mockery that is included in here is directed towards the latter two and not the first. Having said that, hello, welcome to Correlation Sensations, a show where I talk about your mother's mammalian protuberances. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. He's recording now. Okay. Uh, well, let me get a drink. I probably should have done that before uh, we start recording, huh? Yes. I was thinking about what you said on the first episode. What? Maybe I... <clears throat> maybe I should change my voice. Oh, I don't quite remember, but maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know. Maybe. Let me try. Let me try. Today, we are going to talk about... No. No, I don't like that one. How about Dude. you? Do you like it? That's fine. It's fine? No, I mean, currently it's okay. It's okay? Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Uh, because I could do one more. Okay, try. Okay. Okay, you guys. We, I'm, I'm going to talk about acupuncture, where we are. Uh, we do puncture of the acu, yeah. That's exactly what we do. You sound like you keep your virginity in your pocket protector. That's exactly where I put my virgin mobile phone. Good boosting yourself. Boost? I go give you a boost. Give me a boost of testosterone. Oh, I don't like that one. Yeah, too low T. Beyond. Too much tea? Low tea. Low tea. Yes. Hairy tea. Yeah. How was your, uh, how was your weekend? Good. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What, uh, what do you do? I watched, uh, men chase a leather pig around. Leather pig? Yes. What? The pigs. Pigs are leather, right? Yes. Uh, so, like, you went to a farm? Uh, sort of. Sort of? It was on TV. TV? Yes. So you watch a man chase a pig around on TV? Exactly. Did it squeal? Maybe the crowd did. Oh, the crowd? There was a crowd watching it, too? Uh-huh. Whoa. What? Yes. Why the... They're in big, large field. They would also kick it hundreds of yards. They kick pig hundreds of yards? Oh, yes. You're watching the world's strongest man kick a pig? A very small pig. Very small? Yes. Oh, not, like, not very heavy. Only only maybe like... Like pint-sized pig. Yes, even smaller than a baby. Smaller than a baby? Uh-huh. Huh. Maybe only pig of skin. Your voice a little quiet or something. I'll, I'll get a little closer. Yeah, get a little closer, yeah. Wow. So I can smell your breath. Exactly. Wow, we. Oh, yeah. oh. Testing. Testing. Ho oh, oh, ho, testing. Yeah, that look good to me. All right. Ah. Uh, oh, so uh, today uh, we talk about ancient Chinese secret. Acupuncture? Yes, yes. It doesn't. Uh, have you ever had it done? No. Nobody stick at me with no needle, I tell you what. Oh. Oh. Uh, have you? No, I wanted to, but I don't know. How do you know the cost of it? 
I don't, I think it's similar to probably regular massage, I assume. Like $30 poke poke? I don't know. Uh, regular, uh, reputable, uh, from, uh... Wait, are you talking about, uh, code word for happy ending? No, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, they got a male massage therapist give you an actual puncture, ha, 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 ha. No, no rubbing the anus here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you want to do that, though. You gotta get it prepped before you insert, right? Don't ask me how I know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't. How do you know? Uh, probably internet stories. There's internet stories about me having my anal probed? No, I mean about just in general. Unfortunately, people sometimes do terrible things. During, uh, how you say, uh, oh, like Savolta. Maybe. Mm, cut me, baby. No wonder he flies his own plane. <laughs> yeah, he flies it good. Yes. Flies it right into the hands of Masseuse. <laughs> okay, what will we do? Acupuncture, right? Yes. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, so. Uh, strap on the seat belt and take a ride on the crazy train today. So, not any different from last week. Huh? The initial source that I used was, you know, Washington University. It gave me uh, an estimated year. It was a 2700 BCE. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, long, a long time ago. It was a freak named Sir Sideshow. Uh, do you say that? No. I, I did say it, though. Yeah, so, the more I read, because, you know, I wanted to read more about it, and then I started to read more, you know, because I wanted to. And it was regarding the history of China. Yep. With the emperor that was given credit for, on my source, was, uh, the um, dude named Xin Yang. Xin Nang. Yeah. The name that was given to the emperor, like, like nickname, uh -huh. was the husband man. Do you know why they use husband man? Why? Well, it wasn't what I thought it was. Uh, yeah, I did a quick search and it, uh, it snuffed out my imagination. You know, rather than I, you know, rather than it being, you know, man with many women, he was the husband man, you know. But it was really, he was making the planet his wife. Oh. So he was in love with the earth. No, 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 no. He just planted his seed inside the earth. Oh. It was like farmer. Oh. He, he was given credit for uh, like, like helping him produce more vegetables instead of eating a lot of meat for food. Ah, oh, gotcha. Yeah, and then I looked more into the history of agriculture. Then it said 9,000 years ago they started farming, which was way before two, you know, 2700 BCE. Yeah. So I was like, what the fuck? It's, it's not working out very good, you know? The communication's got to be off somewhere. Yeah. You know? Maybe they gave him too much credit, you know, emperor. He, like, you should be running your country, not farming. I know, but the country runs on its stomach. Or the nation, or the... I run on my feet. Yes, I, I would imagine a lot of... That'd be more like be belly sliding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dude, you would have to be really, 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 really big to run on your stomach. Maybe he roll like boulders? Oh, that would hurt so bad. Roll like bo oh, like a willy in the Wonka. Or uh -huh. Wonka in the willy. Uh-huh. Big giant blueberry. Big willy in chocolate factory. That would be a happy ending for acupuncture, right? My willy in her chocolate factory. That would not smell good. Oh, well, you, ha you have to have her clean it first. I would think so. Yes. Maybe take a rubber hose and, you know, flush out the stuff. Yes. I heard they're not good for your gut flora, though. Oh, yes, because it gets rid of uh, antibodies, right? Or your your uh, doo-doo pumping machines, the oh. fermentation of the fiber. Oh, yeah, so the process actually promotes your health. Gotcha. No. No, 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 the process naturally is what I'm saying, oh. without that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, we talk about the factor, the 
the chocolate factory. Yes. Yeah, okay. We're not talking about Willy in the chocolate factory, just the chocolate factory in general. Yes. Oh, okay, good. Good. Because I was getting worried that no. my doctor would have to do something. No, no, no. Would not like too much. Not unless logs get jammed in your ass. Oh, that I'd rather, I'd rather take something out. No, I mean your own stool, fool. Yeah, yeah, I mean I'd rather take like prune juice. Oh, prune juice, gotcha. Yeah, or uh, smoke tobacco. Oh, that makes you get the shits? Well, it gives you, it releases your, your bowels because it, it's a muscle relaxant. Oh. Yeah. Because what happens is it, is it it blocks your acetylcholine receptors, uh -huh. which are what send signals to your muscles. Ah, oh, yeah. but, so it makes them contract. Gotcha. Yeah, contractual. So, let's see here. Hmm, where was I? I was reading here. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, instead of jumping too deep into the history of China, I wanted to go to the history of neuroscience. So I didn't read too much on that uh, stuff. Hmm. It is believed by some that acupuncture had a natural evolution, like most things that we do today, you know. Mm -hmm. Started off little by little and more and more. And uh, the one source that gave me that assumption, which makes a lot of sense, used a reference of a mummy they found that froze a long time ago uh -huh. and it was like this dude with like sharpened stones in the bones oh ouch but then they also found tattoos all over which looked similar to the chinese meridian system uh -huh. which was also given credit to xinyang xinyang but that mummy was way older than xinyang okay and remember our last episode about how China has a history of burning books and burying historians. So There's a lot of stuff that went on that we may not know about. Starting to seem like someone takes too much credit for something. Mm -hmm. But that is not neuroscience. <laughs> no, no, no. Except for it does affect people's neurons. So, oh, did you know that they used to use sharpened stones and or bones to start tattooing. Oh, wow. And the mummy they found had tattoos all over him. Wow. So, made me think the reliability of the assumption on that source wasn't up to date, you know, up par, you know. Yes. Maybe, maybe jumping the gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the gun be jumping too. They need to put, they need to put gun control of that writer. <laughs> yeah, he Keyboard should. control. Keyboard control. Yes, you must be this, uh, this way in order to type like this. <laughs> Anyways, so, like a lot of uh, beginnings of a lot of scientific research, it started off, you know, not knowing too much. And what happens when a lot of people don't know too much about something? What do they use to fill in the gaps? Uh, previous knowledge and future history and see how they got there. Yes, they do use extrapolation, mm -hmm. but what else? When they don't know what causes something, they resort to some sort of imaginary thinking. Uh-huh. And uh, it becomes mystifying. Yes. Or metaphysical. It's a big spooky monster. Uh-huh. Gibber in the fabric of everything. Mm -hmm. Like the ether and physics. And, yeah, so... They used what is called like chi, uh -huh. and chi has been uh, translated to what we call energy. Mm -hmm. So, which makes it easier to transfer a lot of the ideas behind acupuncture nowadays. But yes, so much like their Western counter counterparts, there where they believed in things like humors, and they believed in numa. Sorry, I'm nodding they, my head. They believed in chi. Yeah, you got to put the rocks in your mouth so you can hear it rattle when you do it. Rattle, 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 rattle. Yeah. That might cause teeth damage. Why am I a chicken? 
Mm. They eat stones <coughs> so they can digest. Gabo, gabo. Exactly. Yeah, I was actually listening to audiobook uh -huh. about uh, digestion track, and it was considered like a scholarly book, mm -hmm. but it was way outdated. Way outdated. Tell you what. Well, that stinks. Yeah, I couldn't get my money back. I wanted to. And it wouldn't let me get this nonsense. It wouldn't let me rate it, and it wouldn't let me give a review until I listened to it all the way through. What? Yeah. I clicked on the review button, and it, it clicked, and it acted like I clicked nothing. I click again. I restarted the whole program, turned it back on, and tried to do it again, and again, and again. And no worky good. Or maybe I just didn't know what I was doing. That might have been what it was. You know what? I think that's exactly what that was. Mm -hmm. Starting to think about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chi was this... He has been described to travel through 12 commonly known pathways as meridians. Yep. Uh-huh. And that is still used today in the many practitioners in acupuncture. And it's very similar to some of the nervous system pathways. Not exact, but very similar. And I will let uh, listeners know that in the future, we will explain more about how deviations do occur from each individual on nerves. Oh, yes. Kind of like the veins in your arms. You know, not everybody has them in the same place. So they have to kind of test where the nerves are. Yeah. Yeah, that would also explain why not everybody has successful treatment with acupuncture. Ah, uh, yes, because could just be not in the right place, could not be. Yeah, exactly. So, you know how I said 2700 BCE was the year? Another source uh, said the year was specifically 2697 BCE. Yep. And that source was Science Direct. Science Direct also said it was the Yellow Emperor. The Yellow Emperor was a totally different dude. He was like the Emperor before Shenong. Which kind of would make sense to me if it was the Yellow Emperor. Because Shenyang has been, you know, not so a par. But then again, the mummy's way older than that year itself, too. So, history seems to be very foggy. Yeah. Kind of like my stools. You might want to go to a doctor. I did. He want to take a camera picture of bum. Oh, fun. No, not fun. Well, is he going to buy you dinner first? No. No, you're going to buy him dinner. So, I take, uh, yeah. What? I buy him dinner? After all that he charged me? Well, you pay you pay, you pay him, right? Yeah. I think I'm getting the short end of the stick here. Or the long end of the camera. What? What? I don't like that uh, euphemism. What? Long end of the uh. camera? My stomach hurts now just thinking about it. I'm sorry. Oh. So, let's, let's go on. It was indicated that there are 160 specific points in the meridian system around the time of the origination of the meridian system, which is used, you know. And, uh, Let's see here. There are different things that they do along this system, like apply pressure, or puncture with needles, or heat applications. Yes. Yeah. Like cupping. Like what? Fire cupping. Fire cupping? Yes. Oh, cup of fire. Well, what they do is they take uh, some sort of alcohol, swab it on a swab, put it in a bulb, and then put it on, and it makes the blood flow, and you create the pocket with glass on on your back, on your different body, and it uh, creates blood flow and creates sort of a kind of a suction on your body. And it creates blood flow to brings it to the front. 
So it takes a little bit of time to come up because it takes a while for it, the blood flow to flow up. Huh. Yes. Why not use vacuum? Uh, maybe not the time, but the thing is, it's 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 easy because basically all they do is just take fire and they uh, put it in the th a thing with the alcohol and a swab and then put it on your back and the uh, pressure difference sucks in and then the fire goes out. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So, there was a human named Hang Fu Mi and he was credited for furthering furthering the evolution of acupuncture by indicating that there are 349 points along the meridian layout. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was estimated to be a, a book completed uh, between the years of 259 uh, current era and 282 current era. Wow. Yeah, so quite ahead of uh, where we were in back around 2700 BCE. And then another Another book came out, or another form of this came out around the years of 1520 to 1660. The credit was given to Yang Jizhu. That is a funny name. Exactly. Yang? Yang Jiz Dan Hu. Yang Jizhu. Ah, uh, where's the name? Right here. That's how you spell it too. Jiz Hu. Or Jiz How? I don't know, they have different alphabets, so it always says something different. Yeah. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, they gave, he's, what, oh, credit given to Yang Jizzy Mouth, uh, for putting 360 points rather than the 349. Yeah, these points are commonly referred to as acupoints. Yep. I'm pretty sure there's something else in the Chinese language. But we're going to use English because we're Eurocentric here. Yes. Even though we're studying Chinese. In the early 1900s, one named George Soule de Morant. Guess where he from? France. Yeah, yeah, oui, oui. And he was considered a diplomatic scholar. Uh-huh. In China? Yeah, he went to China. And he practiced it. And brought the practice to Europe. Yep. And uh, after that, it was history. The end. Let's go out for a bite to eat, huh? What? Ha! I was checking. You weren't paying attention. You looking at the phone, a bright, shiny thing. I was looking at honeys. Honeys? Like Winnie the Pooh? That would be good handle name for whatever you were on looking for the honeys. Ha 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 ha. No, just ladies, sorry. Plus also a uh, friend text us, mutual friend. So I was just updating that. Mutual friend? You know. Oh, the one who, uh, who do the do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you, Escape Goat. Great band. We uh, finally captured you and put you in basement. Where you belong. Yeah, where you belong. Because those uh, two songs that you have recorded are not enough. We need to get more out, pumping the juices. Yes. And apparently they got a new, new, uh, new man in there. Maybe. There was just two, you know, cavemen. Now they brought uh, another caveman. Yes. Older Basement caveman. Man. Older caveman. Who, um, who, who built stuff for electronics. Yeah. Very impressive. Yeah, caveman. Electronical caveman. Mm hmm. Hmm, interesting. Maybe an electrical wizard. Wizard? Mm hmm. Wizardry. Oh, witch! Burn them! Burn! Oh, throw them in the water with the rocks. Oh, yeah. That's what we should do. That's a good idea. After this, we go do that. Yes. Be good idea. What if he died, though? He not a witch, then. He tall. He tall? Mm hmm What does that to do with crushing him? Oh, I thought you meant throwing him in water. He wouldn't drown. What? Oh! Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. So you know the term meridian and energy uh -huh. coined by George Sully. Even though I believe that uh, both those terms were used before him, because those words are much older than the 1900s. Yes. Yeah. And then an individual named Bong Han Kim. 
or Kim Bonghan. Yeah, Bonghan is his last name, but it's first name because he's Chinese. Actually, he's Korean, but he's Asian. And I think it's very common to put, you know, the family name before the first name. Yes, I think there's a whole bunch of level of different importance. Yeah, I think it's because they're saying the family is more important than the individual. Yes. Which would explain a lot of the cultural, uh, what is it? Differences? Well, yeah, but I was going to say another word in front of differences. Trends. The cultural trends and differences. Because not, you know... In every culture, you know, not everybody think the same way. Yes. It's not like one, you know, huge symbiotic organism made up of different cells, like yes. a human. Yeah. So it was the 1960s where uh, Bong and Kim had uh, fun with the Bong. You see what they did there? Yes. I made it funny. You didn't laugh, though. A little tired. Little? Yeah. Uh-oh. Didn't get sleep late, but I'm still doing okay. Oh, no, no good. Yeah, so anyways, in the 1960s, he performed research so he could postu postulate something pretty interesting here. Yes. Microparticles. Oh. Which circulate around DNA. Oh. Cause signals. Signals. They communicate hormones independ independently from the well-established and real endocrine system. Ah, yes. Yes. Yeah, Kim used uh, rabbits to stab and mutilate Ooh. so he could prove something he c cannot be replicated. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, actually, the I mean, for some reason, his histological techniques were not disclosed in his research papers. Ha! Wow. Pretty funny. Oh, look at that. The magical bunny rabbit have a special system nobody can see except me. Kind of like that dude who starts Mormonism. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, with golden tablets and hat with special sunglasses. He had sunglasses, too? Well, no, he had a certain type of glasses that allowed him to read, and he couldn't be watched to read. It was really weird. Sound like a shithead. I don't know. I guess people were easy to trick back then. Yeah, so you want to hear about these rabbits some more? Yes. So, <laughs> so uh, they had these rabbits. They uh, had a uh, special bong hen corpuscles, uh, also known as uh, primo nodes. Uh huh. And uh, for some reason, you know, you know, another group of researchers tried to do this, but instead of Korea, it was in China. Uh huh. And it was kind of like uh, we uh, we cannot uh, replicate it. But then another group, you know, established a connection to a chem study with rats. Uh-huh. Yeah, done by B.C. Lee. And uh, individuals not named in the, my source. Excuse you. Uh, yeah, so interesting. The title of that paper is Evidence for the Primo Vascular System Above the Epicardia of a Rat Hearts. Wow. Yep, and then another research team led by X Jung linked to pathological conditions with the same system. Then another group led by W. B. Zhang found what has been described as thread like structures in the vascular system in both rats and mini pigs. Oh pigs. Do you think those are the same pigs you saw on TV? No. Because those are at least the hundreds, couple hundred years old when they're talking about the... No, this was 1900s. Oh. But yeah. there are many pigs, and you said they're really small pigs. Yes, I, I think both pigs have been dead for a while. Both? So they kick a dead pig on TV? Maybe. You amaze me. I had never thought to click on TV and look for people kicking dead pig around. It's America pastime. Really? Mm -hmm. People in college and they even pay people millions of dollars. To kick dead pig? Uh, to play with the dead pig. And yet I get paid for nothing for research to discover information or at least 
gather information and compose it into something that's entertaining. Yes. Right? That don't make no sense. What is wrong with this species? I mean, my species. I don't know. Monetary. I guess entertainment is more important than science. And then you have all these people that claim science. I love science so much. And then you have other people who don't like science or evolution, but rely on doctors who are actually decades behind in our recent research. So they give you information that's not really up to date because they rely on drug companies to do their own research on their drugs, which in decades will turn out to be very devastating on the human populace. Wow. It is a very messed up world. Yes. I'm going to sit down and think about it for a little bit. Okay. You, you entertain the listeners for a little bit. Okay. Do, 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 do. What are you thinking about? You're not very entertaining. I know I'm not really much of a one-man show. What? Damn you. That's not what Captain Gongho said. I was back to topic. That's what I say. Back, back to topic. It seems as though uh, the primovascular system is like an imaginary concoction designed to satisfy commonly polar topic for some who devoted much of their lives to science. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of people don't even think acupuncture is real. I understand why, because it's old and it's uh, wrapped around some mystical thing. Yes. Much like the primovascular system, it does not help that people want to add more things. It does make sense, though, if you think about it, though. I, I was thinking about it. The uh -huh. primovascular system. You know how what we can see with our eyes yes. is not necessarily all that's there. Yes. You know, kind of like ultraviolet radiation or infrared radiation. Yes. And much like a magnetism, and it takes technology to see different things. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, I'm keeping my mind open, but I'm thinking it's bullshit since, you know, the Maybe first... Maybe it's in the skin. Yeah. Maybe yeah, it's... Yeah, maybe it is. But at the same time, you know, they cut open all these things, and they say, they can't find anything. And then the person who originated it, didn't really explain their histological, you know, their functions and how they did it all to replicate these results. And other people couldn't replicate the same study. Didn't they do it once again before that? Yeah, but who knows if they were full of shit. Yes. Because it's like more people, if you believe it's something, and you yes. think it's real, some people will go to extreme lengths to bullshit others. Yes. That's why. For monetary gain. That or so they could satisfy their... You know what they believe you know if you believe something long enough you will make it true in your head yeah and then you will dismiss anything that dismisses it yes and then and then you'll make up stuff that's not really there yes to make it real kind of like that 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 movie with the dude carry of jim ah uh, what he do there's a number 23. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah just yeah. like that or or that other movie the butterfly man no oh. beautiful mind. Okay. Yeah. I saw both the movies in theaters. Really? Once in L in California with a college friend. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Was it fun? It was we kinda laughed through it because it was a little bit preposterous, but we knew it was based on a book and a story that had been around for a long time. So they performed it live for you at the theater? No, this was picture movie theater. Picture movie theater. Yes. Really? Like big TV everybody go to? Yes. Huh. No big toilet though. No. Only small regular sized toilet all over building. You know, that might fix the restroom problem I hear that they're having. Oh. You know, with uh, different people who have uh, different, uh, you know, they think they're different things. Oh, yes. Yeah, what they call it. Trans, tranny, yeah. That's one way of saying it. You know, I heard some people get upset at that one. Tranny. Not me, but I think it's meant to derogatory. I don't use it derogatorily. I know, but it referred to 
because it used to be women of the night in California. And so that's what the cops and the people and they were harassed and stuff in the middle of the night. Didn't you ever play GTA? Four? Yeah, but names change like words. Their meanings change, right? Yes, but it's still concurrently used that way. Yeah, I don't want to get on it. It seems That's like fine. seems like some people would get upset. Yes, and and I, I think the more I talk, kind of like last episode, the more I talk, more people get upset. I don't think it's too bad. Like I did not. I I swear to God. Harry Nippler six seven two five one I eighty seven. I I tell you right now, Harry Nippler. I did not say it was okay to go to a bar, and grab a sloppy drunk woman. And uh, have your way with her. So don't do that. That's bad. That, that, that's not what I meant. Okay? What I meant is if you are at the bar and you get uh, drunk, and then a, a woman comes up to you or you come up to a woman and you hit it off and you you are not trying to ma manipulate the fact that she is vulnerable and easily manipulated by being sloppy drunk, and you guys both go, and you guys have, uh, you know, one of those times in your places, and then you wake up and go, ah, like uh, that one movie with the rogue and Seth. Uh-huh. Yeah, knocked off. The thing is, I think she knew it was consensual. Yeah, that is consensual. Well, no, but the problem was, we're like, oh, gosh, she's a loser. That's pretty sad. Yes. But, I mean, I would think some people would say that was rape. No. Yeah. Yeah, some people think you can't have sex with someone who is drunk. It depends on if they're blackout or completely passed out. That's another thing. But if you're drunk, so drunk, you're really not knowing too much, you know, because uh, when you're inebriated to that point, you couldn't very well know that either. I don't know. But I've never been in that drunk situation with anyone yeah, usually if I've I... had drunk sex, but it was consensual. Mm, how do you know? She was drunk. You were drunk. Yeah. You don't she know. She told me where she lived. Whoa, that's creepy. Yes. Did you come back? No, get a gated community. Mm. I had to follow back and then go. She had to let. She had to let me in. Huh? Yes. That's a. Well, I, that seems consensual enough for me. Yes. That's what I'm saying. We hugged afterwards. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Yeah. One and done. I think she ghosted me. Like she died and became ghost? No, no, it means disappear. Oh, like the primovascular system? Uh, no, just not to t t uh, talk to you. Huh. I think that's what all she was looking for at the moment. Oh. Oh, uh, well, you know, at least you had a t good time, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I remain skeptical of what I do not know of and what most people cannot replicate, you know, because of the various reasons I stated. Kind of like, you know, in physics in the early, early 1900s where they believed in the ether. Uh-huh. And like now they believe in a fabric of space and time. Like, they really don't have, you know, much in the way of evidence other than, you know, how things bend around the gravitational fields. Which doesn't make it a fabric, but uh, I'm pretty sure more people get upset over that one. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, let's continue investigating, shall we? Let me think. In 1984, an individual named Chan is said to uh, not adopt the idea of a paramovascular system, but rather lean towards the nervous system as the primary cause of any results. Oh, thank the Lord. Oh, yes. Praise the Baloba, or whoever, for this, because now we're actually getting on to neuroscience. Right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Chan is said to use gross anatomical structure analysis, you know, which are structures visible to your your nude eyeball, which is kind of funny because a lot of nerves are not uh, not visible to your eyes, <laughs> especially in the peripheral nervous system. Yep. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he also used physiological measurements to study acupoints uh, and how they affect the nervous system in both the central and the peripheral. 
and uh, sensations of afferent signals, which are towards the brain, uh, go toward the brain, yeah. And uh, <laughs> these signals uh, tend to affect how the brain receives signals when you poke the nerves. Kind of like, you know, when you get hit, your nerves get stimulated. Oh, blam. Like when you hit your weenus or your funny bone. Yeah, don't want to hit the weenus. Wait, don't you mean penis? No, weenus is the part of your elbow that is the part that's connected. Oh, that's what they call it. Yes. What do they call the knee? Is it a meta weenus? I don't know. No? Does your phone know? I don't know. Oh, I think okay. it's just called the kneecap, and I used to know it, but I I don't know. Oh, I guess it's just me and you, people. Oh, shut up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it got your attention, didn't it? Yes. Oh, Gork got the void to come over. Yes, come on <laughs> over, baby. Yeah. You, you, know, you want to hear of another article? Uh, yes. That was referenced by source number five? Yes. Yeah. You want to hear the name of the person? Oh. H. Dong. Dong? Yeah, Dong. I think that's a pretty common name, man. That's a hilarious name. Yes, I heard funny story. Yeah. Yeah, so he was more enthusiastic about the idea of the somatic sensory nerves in your peripheral nervous system. Uh-huh. Yeah, Chan was, uh, Chan was skeptical of acupuncture even working, but Dong was more, you know, like, this shit to work. I bet you he had acupuncture done himself. Yes. Yeah. He also thought that the blood vessels was a reasonable thing too. Yeah. Which would explain the the reason why they check your blood pressure or your blood beat before they poke. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they don't want to be any responsible for any changes or any things like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, that makes sense too. They got to check your vitals. Yes. And at the same time, the meridian system isn't directly the same as your nervous system pathways. So that's why they would include the blood vessels too. Okay. One a second, I'm a little parched here. Okay. Oh yeah. Let me thank Yoshio Pijoe. Oh, the okay. artist of our podcast. Yes. Yeah. He recently did a book. What did he do? Book cover competition. He inserted three different pictures for it. Uh huh. Fingers and toes crossed. Fingers and toes. Uh huh. Do it now, listener. Cross your fingers and your toes. I'm trying to do mine. Cross your fingers and your toes. Fingers, toes. Knees and toes. Knees. No, fingers, toes. Toes, up nose, stink where it goes. Praise whatever makes it happen. Because if he does, we get successful. Yeah, that's how it works. I don't know. We can't really write anyone else's coattails, but hopefully he'll like to share the wealth. Better, motherfucker. Yes, we know where you live. We let him scribble it all. Yeah, we know exactly where you live. And soon, if you don't do what we want, we will throw you in with a scapegoat. Uh huh. Yeah, funny, ironic name, a scapegoat, but locked up in our basement. Ha 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 ha. They smell like goat. Bah. No? What we do here? I don't know. Keep going. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me blah, blah, blah. Multiple nerves connected to vasculi. Oh, yeah. So, in the future, we will go more into how interconnected the nervous system is with itself. Oh, wow. So, you know, a lot of nerve endings don't just go straight towards the spine. They have multiple branches, and they go to other nerves, and they connect because they communicate. This is also why... You know, when you hit your funny bone, there's a different tingling sensations. Or, uh -huh. or like, if you get hurt really bad, certain other parts will hurt. Like, if you kick, get kicked in the gonads, mm -hmm. you'll feel you it then. And kick you in gonads, so you feel it. No, oh, and you'll feel pain in stomach, too. And eyes will wince. And uh, you'll feel like puking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, it's very interconnected, which would explain uh, why... Some people claim that acupuncture in one hand can affect the other hand. 
Mm-hmm. Ah. So in order to satiate the reader's appetite, or the reader, the listener's appetite, with a clinical study, I have a little bit more information. I actually was able to download the PDF file. Oh, cool. Because these people are, are real cool. It's also an older study. I think it was from the 70s. Oh, wow. Wow, I wish I would take that down here. Anyways, 21 individuals consisting of 10 women and 11 men between the ages of 24 and 47 Earth Revolutions. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Credit is given to one called C.Y. Chiang. No, Chiang. And C.T. Chang. I think that's probably the closest you've actually said a name. Oh, yeah, that's probably how it is. C.Y. Chiang and uh, C.T. Chang, H.L. Chu, and L.F. Yang for carrying out this task. What you say? Yes, keep going. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they used a device called the Dol- Dolorimotor. Dolorimotor? Oh, wow. Yeah, it was used to send signals uh, for precise measurements, specifically a DC square wave. Oh, uh, was that impulses maybe, or what was it? It, yeah, well, it would be like an impulse because it was like 4, 0.45 seconds. And it was ranging from 0 to 10 milliampers. Yeah. And they uh, they attached two arms and the left leg to test with uh, three rectangular silver plates. And the dimensions are a length of 4.5 centimeters and uh, a width of 3.5 centimeters. The height of each plate was not disclosed, unfortunately. Wow. But it was indicated that they used cotton swabs soaked in NaCH sodium chloride solution so it could help out the conduction between the plates in the skin. And these plates were connected to the device with a silver wire. Mm Mm-hmm. Wow. The shocks were sent to each individual under four con- different conditions at the six different locations for testing. The first condition was simple. They All they did was lay down in a supine sup- position, you know, so they're down on their backs uh-huh. for uh, 10 mm-hmm. minutes. Wow. And then they got the shock. And then in between the, each location where they shocked, there was a period of 8 to 16 minutes. So they could have like a reset basically on their brains. Wow. Or nervous system in general. Mm-hmm. And then the next uh, area, or I mean, the next uh, condition was they just used a tourniquet. Oh, wow. Uh, so they cut off circulation? Yeah. And this was like, so the control was where they just laid down. Mm-hmm. So they could get a, a, an accurate reading. And they, they shocked them multiple times for Ooh. each location. Wow. In each condition at each place. So six times, however many times they shot. They didn't tell me the number of times they shot for each place. Uh-huh. But they did that so they could get uh, an average over oh, time. Yes. And then they used the tourniquet to cut off circulation to see how much that impacted the person's threshold of pain. Oh, yes. And then they used acupuncture to test the threshold of pain. Uh Uh-huh. And then what they did was use tourniquet and acupressure. Acupuncture. Yep. Pretty cool, huh? Hopefully they got paid handsomely. I bet they did. Probably better than a scapegoat. Oh, yes. Yeah. They actually, this paper, I, uh, I, if the reader's really interested in, in verifying what I'm saying to make sure it's all right by them, they actually have a good tables. They have like a table one and a table two, and they use the specific names of the meridian system where they, uh, they poked the people and, sh- you know, shocked the people. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pretty interesting, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, uh... Sounds a little masochistic. I hope they did were okay. I don't think it was too bad of pain. But they... It was am- administered... Uh, uh... These different points... Mm-hmm. Were both coinciding with the meridian medical system and the nerve points. 
just to make sure that it coincided with the nervous system, you know. Wow. So there was a statistical difference. Mm hmm You want to know? Yes. So, when they just rested down, it was from 0 0.01 plus or minus 0 0.6 on the power. And then, that was just one area. And that area was L, also known, with that's L, which is referring to the nerve. And the name of that area was a Tien Ding. Tien Ding? Whatever the hell that is. See, that's why I'm not saying it. It's not because I'm lazy, no. I could have researched Google and had it tell me exactly what it is. Yes. But anyways, looking at our tables, it shows that acupuncture, acupuncture mm -hmm. has a statistical difference. Yeah, a little bit better than the tourniquet mm -hmm. use and way better than just resting down. Wow. And they also found that there are specific areas that are affected more, like specifically in the, the head area with a trigeminal nerve, which is a cranial nerve. Mm -hmm. It is affected more. Have you ever cut yourself on the head? It bleeds a lot. I did. You want to know the story? There's a scar right here. Wow. I think you told me, didn't you fall on the corner of a table or something? No. So. Oh, concrete. Nope. Oh. Oh, that would hurt. No. You always had the gym. Uh-huh. And you know, they have these machines with this. It's not my favorite thing to use, but it's like this machine with this arm that rotates. Mm -hmm. It goes down. And it angles up, so you could use it to, uh, you know, do different things. Mm -hmm. Both of these arms are on either side. Yes. So you could use it to do, like, cable workouts with your chest, you know, to to punch and to work out your shoulders or yes. your traps or whatever you do. And this one, I positioned the arm all the way up. That way it was above my head. And I made sure it was locked. You know how I did? I make sure I... I I slammed on that little knob that goes into the hole. Yes. I swear to God I did that. And then I did lat pull downs. Mm hmm The fucking thing came down and it went whack on my head. Wow. Good thing I was far enough away it just grazed it. Otherwise I would have been knocked out pretty bad. It was at least 80 pounds on there. Oh, God. Oh, my How long goodness. Long yes. Oh, my goodness. It was like 2015. Did they have to come and help you? What happened is I, I was like, oh, fuck. I, it just knocked my glasses off, right? Uh -huh. So I just went down, picked up my glasses, and then I saw drip, drip, drip. Oh, touch my head. Oh, it was like all this blood. I didn't feel anything. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Yeah, yeah. And then the gym manager, she came running around with the rag and she's like, oh my God, are you okay? She came with this rag and put it on my head. I bled everywhere, oh my goodness. Then I went to one of those clinics. They they stabbed me in the head with a, with lidocaine uh -huh. and st stitched me up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty interesting, huh? Yes. Not as interesting as the phone. I don't know, just checking time. Uh, what? You're going. Oh, uh, I can keep on going if you want. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So this study that I just mentioned uh, showed that acupuncture does work. Uh-huh. Although some people still claim it's psychosomatic, much like when I got hit in the head. You know, didn't feel it because I didn't see anything. All good. Yes. But also... This study was done in response to another study, mm -hmm. which showed that when they uh, they administered lidocaine, no, it was prilocaine. Uh -huh. It was one of those anesthetics around the point where they poked with the acupuncture. Um, it had no effect on the other hand. Oh. So, like, the signal was stopped because what happens with local anesthetics um, they block the sodium channels, so nerve signals are not sent, which is, which would explain exactly why they think it's the nervous system. Yes. And then that same study also used a tourniquet to numb 
you know, cut off blood flow uh -huh. because some people thought it was blood vessel circulation that could be the explanation as to why acupuncture works. Uh -huh. But that didn't affect acupuncture. So uh -huh. there are statistical differences, which leads me to think it's not psy psychosomatic. Oh, wow. Uh. But it does could work. Could there be maybe something in the blood vessels that is? Uh -huh. Well, there are sensory nerves that end nerve endings that end up in the blood vessels. Uh-huh. You know, because they check for chemical tracers. Like, so when you go out of oxygen, it tells your brain, hey, you need uh, you need to take a breath. And that's why it's you don't have to focus on breathing. Because it's automatically done. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it gives you that sensation when you're running out and you have too much CO2 in your bloodstream. You get that feeling like you're suffocating. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what that is. Yes. Yeah. So, the, one of my sources was asking in its conclusion why only 70% of patients have successful, you know, workings with the acupuncture practice. Uh -huh. Well, let me tell you, 70% is like twice as good as placebo effect oh, wow. on average. On average, people, placebo can affect a lot more people depending upon the individual psychosomatic situation here. Yes. And psychosomatic could actually be an explanation as to why some people don't have success in acupuncture results. And another thing, let me tell you, people, not everybody's nerve systems are created equal. Some people's are nerves. Uh, yeah, some people are nerves. Yeah, they get on my nerves. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, brother? E exactly. Oh, man. I praise it all. The cardboard box. Yeah, when you get to later on, you when you start to listen more and more, you will start to hear more about how your there are ganglion in your peripheral nervous system up and down mm -hmm. your spine that are connected and there are some people who have more or less and they are located in slightly different areas yes and that's why some people feel have different pain thresholds in general that's why they had to do averages too so yeah that's quantitative study analysis with the pretty good methodology with an actual with an actual control involved yes so that seems pretty pretty good for scientific method yes what do you think? Yes. Oh wait, you've been saying yes, right? Yes. I think we I, I think this is the most interesting topic we've done in a while, even though it's only been a while. But acupuncture is so interesting and in how it works, and yet it's been proven that some people still think not. But I think it's a over well, overarching thing to do with wellness. It may help some people more than others. Yes, and for various reasons. I wouldn't say there's, like, only one reason why it wouldn't work. Yes. Like, it's nonsense, and you just tricked yourself into believing it. Yes, could be impractical use, could be just something blocking it, something whatever, you know. And who knows, maybe in the future, when we uh, go more into the 1900s, we might cover these studies more frequently. Yes. At least it's not bloodletting. <laughs> yeah. You know, that works sometimes. It does. Yeah. I think they took one case that worked and then applied it to everything. <laughs> yeah, that's that makes sense, you know. Yes. It's kind of like how they figured out that... Uh, Isn't that how George Washington died? I thought it was... I don't know. I'm not going to say. Okay. I don't know. That. Don't quote me, yes. Who's George Washington? Uh, he, he crossed the state called Delaware on a boat and oh, killed a bunch of British people. Like that song. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. Come on. They need to make a song like that. They already did. They have George Washington do that. I don't know. I think maybe a parody of it. Oh, that's I, I know that they maybe and did, maybe even did a George Washington parody. I don't know. Oh, man. They could have had George Washington with flippy floppies on. Yes. Ha! And my powdered wig. What's really ironic, though, is that George Washington didn't want the Germans to look at him. Oh, I lied. You caught me in my lie. Oh, terrible lie. Okay, we need to end this before we incriminate ourselves more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we did enough. I mean, P 
people gonna be looking for a scapegoat and if they find this they're gonna be they know who we're going for oh god you think we have to do this all over again now no, no. okay i know we said that this week we do edwin smith papyrus but guess what bitches i'm not gonna do another hour right now but you'll hear one later yeah next week we will yes yeah yeah so we're just going to <laughs> we're gonna leave you with a song from a scapegoat all right check those bitches out yes they live in omaha and guess what they will be posting up on facebook and twitter and well, instagram on where they're going to be playing they've been doing open mic nights lately yes tuesday nights on therapy lounge uh-huh and thursday nights at at where the titty bar yeah titty bar titty bar strip club there's actually you can't really see their tits because nebraska has stupid law on alcohol and nudity i think some things they do but they have to jump through hoops and have private club and so um, the strippers have to jump through hoops no 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 i mean the laws and the red tape fun. the um, stripper olympics so red tape on boobs yes oh that's that make it too complicated. Okay, that we need to end this. We do? Oh, it's called American Hangout. It's a regular no, place. American no. Dream. No, no, but that's the name of the area, like the, the venue of the music. Oh, yeah, because it's kind of like right now it's cold outside, yes. so it's in the basement. Yes. But during the spring and summertime, ha, they have they have outside the venue. Yes. It's going to get loud. Can't wait. Ha, we go there too with them. Yes. And if you if you actually come and talk to them and tell them that you listen to the podcast, they'll they'll tell you a little bit more. I think. Yes. Yeah, but they they won't show you their marks on their their ankles. They yes. better not. Anyways, till next time. Yes. We leave in peace. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>
Give it up.